awesome. Well, we're here to, uh, yes, celebrate a baby king. But that baby king grew up. And that baby king went to the cross to pay for the sins of all mankind. Anyone who would say yes can receive this forgiveness. And I'd like to introduce you to the person who has done this most recently, and his name is Lloyd. Would you welcome him? I think the revolution can do a lot better than that. Can you welcome him? Let him know he's loved. So this past Saturday night, we shared the good news of Jesus Christ, and something stirred in his heart, and he raised his hand and said, I want that. He's being obedient, yeah. He's being obedient because God's word says that we're to make disciples. That's when someone gets converted, someone's reborn, and that happened. And then we're to be then we're to be baptized. And then we're supposed to teach this young disciple to obey all that Jesus has taught. And that's our job, church, to come alongside of Lloyd, to love him, to lead him, and to teach him. So I'm asking you to help with that. I wanna start the process off right here, right now. And we could all just come before the Lord and just pray for him right now. Can we do that? Let's do that right now. This is a big deal, dude. <laughs> you ready? God's word says that if anyone's in Christ, they're a new creation, that the old has died, and that we should be able to behold, see a new person, and that's what God's looking for in you. Something totally different than what you were before. Totally different than the man who raised his hand the other night. That's what God wants. That's what your family desires. And so, Lord, that's what we're asking right now, that you would work in him, that you would continue to do that great work in him that started, that culminated in, a, in, a, in a, an acceptance of your gift this past Saturday night. But we know your word is true, Lord, and that the one who began a good work would continue to do so until the day of Christ Jesus. And so, Lord, until Lloyd's last day, we pray that your spirit would work on him in a mighty way and transform him into a, a man of God that you desired. He's taken his step toward you, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you would continue to work on him You'd continue to draw him closer to your heart every single day of his life. And that this moment right here, right now, would be burned into his memory forever. If ever there was a moment that he was led to temptation, that he could remember this moment where he said yes to you publicly, and it would help him to turn from his sin and run into your loving arms afresh. I thank you for that. Lord, I pray that you'd help him to be a good dad. You have a plan for his life. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would protect him from anything that the enemy would have planned for him and that he would become fully developed, fully grown in his relationship with you, Lord, and become all that you've, that you've desired for him to be. I thank you for that, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for getting him here tonight. The battle is real, but you won right here, and we praise you for that. We thank you. Lord, who is your one and only Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, he has said. And based on that confession, I now bury you with Christ. And like him, you will be raised to new life because you trusted in the mighty power of God that raised Christ from the dead. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Still alive, still saving people, man. Awesome. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, man. Here. Hi, I'm Lloyd. <laughs> For a long time, I struggled with addiction, and I still struggle with it time to time, and I think that demon is finally off my back. I don't, I don't crave it anymore, I swear, I don't. 
I just wanted to be the best dad I could be, and I wanted everybody to love me, and I wanted everybody to show me that they loved me. Thank you. <laughs> well, we're not done. You know, the Bible doesn't say that you're supposed to uh, make disciples and then bring them to the preacher so you can baptize them, you know. The, the Bible says that if you're a disciple of Christ, that you're supposed to be baptizing people. So I'm going to step aside and, and watch how God really wants it done as Philip and Beth come forward. And Philip, you guys know Philip and Beth? Welcome them. Give them a Christmas Eve welcome. Well, Beth's decided to, to also be baptized. Yeah. It's been a long time coming, but we're excited. And so I'm going to happily step aside and let Philip do his thing, man. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 